Hi, Debbie Lichter with Free From Food Addiction and The Congruence Code. All right, so today I want to support you in how to be calm. So if you are someone who tends to get anxious or obsessed or worry what other people think or just have that sense of urgency or like there's just too many things to do and there's not enough time, whatever steals your calm, I want to give you some tips to help you to really come back into a deeper state of calm and ease and comfort so that you can just be your awesome self and just shine and light the world up with who you're being. Okay, so the first tip here that I wanna share with you is to get present in your body. This is so great, big, huge, powerful because we oftentimes think of, okay, I need to create this sense of calm. And we kind of look to like the outside world and how we're going to get things in our world to just settle down and make things peaceful out here in our world so that we can feel peaceful inside here. But actually what you want to do is you want to just bring your awareness into your body. And what I really love to do is I love to bring my awareness into the center of my body. So the literal center of gravity of your body, it exists in your sacrum, S2. And so when you can bring your awareness down to your pelvic area and just take a few breaths there and just go ahead and do it now. You can even place one hand just between your pubic bone and your belly button and one hand right into the low part of your back, just above your tailbone. And just take a couple of breaths here. So this right here is the center of, is your center of gravity. You can remove your hands, and if you want to just bring your awareness all the way down to the base of your pelvis, you can do that too. So you can just take your awareness down to the base of your pelvis, and this part of your body, I mean, this is the very center of your being. And so what happens is when you bring your awareness to this part of your body, it actually helps to center you energetically, emotionally, spiritually, mentally, all of that. And so just taking a couple deep breaths here is so powerful. I was just sharing on a call earlier today that one of the things that you can do when you're just moving throughout your day is as you're walking about, instead of moving from the awareness of your head, you might even notice as you're thinking and walking, you might even be tipping yourself forward and leading with your head. Instead, consider Bring your awareness into your pelvis and walking from the awareness of your pelvis. It's a completely different orientation, different way of being. And I can tell you right now that you will not be up in your head. You can't be up in your head and be in your pelvic awareness at the same time. So it's worth just trying, you know, it might actually help you. It'll definitely help you to feel more centered, more grounded, and hey, who couldn't use a few more intentional breaths while we're at it, right? So that's the first thing. The second thing is to unhook from your agenda. So, so much of our lives is caught up with what we think we need to do, how we think needs things need to look on the outside, who we think we need to be, how we think we need to be, what we think other people need to think about us or see us as. Like there's just so much, we are constantly thinking about that stuff. So if you are someone who tends to get hooked into how other people are perceiving you, what other people think about you, or wanting them to see you in a certain way, and that steals your peace, steals your sense of calm because you're more focused on them than you are on you then I really, really encourage you to unhook from what I call the external feedback loop. That is looking to the outside to inform your insides. Unhook from all of that. Set all of that stuff aside. Just set it all aside. If, if you want, you can pick it up later, but just set it all aside and just come back to the truth of who you really are. So if you do not know who you really are, I will tell you right now, you are a child, a divine child of an infinite universe. You are a bundle of love. You, you are designed and hardwired for joy. This is your essence. This is your truth. Every single person in the world is hardwired this way. We just, we've learned and been conditioned to other ways of being and living, but your truest, truest, truest way of being is that. You are love, you're a divine child of an infinite universe, and you are just this absolute 
bundle of joy. And so if you can simply set aside, unhook from all of the things that you think you need to do or how you think you need to be or what you think it needs to look like and what you think it needs to look or how you think you need to look and just come back to this truth of who you are. And let's just take a deep breath and celebrate the who-ness of who you are because it is magical. If you can just come back to that, then what becomes available is that you get to just respond to and be with what is arising in this moment. If you're not so attached to how it needs to look, then you can actually be available for what you get to receive and experience right now. It is so powerful. This is a total access point for calm. So remember, you got to unhook from that external feedback loop. You've got to set all of your agenda aside and then open yourself up to the truth of who you are and what is actually unfolding in this moment right now. Because P.S., by the way, there is magic and miracles that are unfolding in this moment right now. And if we would just put a pause press the pause button on our agenda, we would actually experiencing it and it would be really, really amazing. So that is number two, just unhook from that agenda. And number three, and this is so great, big, huge, powerful. This is you connecting with a sense of support. You actually sourcing a sense of support that is actually all around you. In fact, you can do it right now. If you want to just close your eyes and allow yourself to tap into the sense of support that's actually holding you right now. Go ahead, close your eyes. It's okay. You can open them up in 10 seconds. Go ahead and close your eyes. And let yourself just feel held just for this moment, just in this moment as if the very air is just holding you and let your body just kind of relax into that for just a moment and take a breath and let yourself release just a little bit more of that tension. I know your mind wants to swarm around, but just let yourself bring your awareness down into your pelvis and let yourself just feel the support that is all around you. and go ahead and open back up into the space. So here is the deal. As much as our mind wants to tell us that we're alone, and as much as we want to believe that we're the odd person out and we don't belong, you are actually being guided and supported in every single moment. And so what my deep passion is, of course, is to help women navigate, like getting free from all of the stuff that is blocking you from just being able to feel supported, to be able to be calm, to be at ease, to be in flow. That is what I just absolutely love to do because I see what happens when you light up. You light up other people, the whole world wins. It's amazing. But you can start to really practice living into that in these ways of connecting into your body, right? Getting present in your body, of setting aside that agenda, and of just taking a few seconds, up to a minute even, of just letting yourself feel the field of support and love that is guiding and, and directing you in each moment. There is just, there is so much available to you if you just tried on those three tips and you could feel calmer now. So I'm going to wrap up this video so that you can get on with your calmness practices. I would love for you to just put a comment below about which one of those practices really resonated most for you and which one that you're going to be practicing. And I cannot wait to connect more with you next time. So definitely subscribe. And next Wednesday, I will send you another fresh new video with more tips and tools to support you in living authentically, being free and lighting up so that you can go on and light up others. Thank you so much and I'll connect next time. Bye for now.